Yeah, now today I want to show you because I told you we really love to um, do the production of kids in a dry spell. Whereby in a dry spell we have no rain. What do you expect? You do expect uh, dust. Dust doesn't come with a lot of challenges, but it comes with a simple challenge, what we call the fleas. The fleas, they don't belong to a curry family. That means these drugs we use does not help in the killing of the fleas. So it becomes a very big problem for us, whereby we spray every week to kill the ticks. But it doesn't mean that we kill the fleas. The fleas also stay and uh, they can bring a lot of trouble. So now, this is the alternative way of preventing the fleas or what we can use. Basically, I told you a long time ago that the, the OMO or, or any detergent, either OMO, either um, basically OMO and uh, Dudu Dust, they always kill the fleas. What do you do with Omo? We always get a trough or bathtub and uh, we put it in the... Um, we mix the Omo in and then we wash these animals like real washing. So basically, that kills the fleas. And then two, um, we also pour uh, the doodoo dust on them. But that is required every day. And these are very many kids. Are like the way you see, they are very many. So it is very hectic for these animals every day to pick them and put dude dust on them. So what do we do? Uh, let's put them in the, in the omo. They will kill all the fleas and then put them uh, put the dude dust on top of it when they dry up. But basically today I was looking through the gallery of, uh, of the drugs. And uh, this is an acaricide. Uh, it's called by Itko. This acaricide is a uh, uh, flumethrin 1% and uh, um, it's a very good one because when I look at what they are saying, ectoparasites, and on those ectoparasites, we also include the fleas, which has been a very big problem. This is a poor one. You just poor on. I want to show it to you and I really want to test it. If I test it, you know that my brothers, me, whatever I test and works for me, I always give it to people. So today, I want to put it on these animals. How do we confirm that we have fleas? Basically, um, let me teach you how to know that this animal might probably have fleas. Look at the hairs of all these animals. You know, uh, there is some which are trying... Do you see the, the, what, what they are trying to do? Do you see this? This is trying to scratch itself. It is scratching itself. You see it pinching itself. And that might even hinder... Uh, and cause another disease called the hairball. Some of you have been seeing your animals having hairballs in their stomachs, and that is a, that becomes a foreign body in the animal. So the animal will start getting cachetic every now and then. You're making treatment. You're doing a lot of things, but there is no improvement. But that could be caused by the hairball. Where do we get the hairballs from? These animals that scratches themselves. What causes the scratching of those animals? One is um, those ectoparasites, which like fleas, uh, mangemites. So in the process of an animal scratching itself and feel comfortable, it causes the hairs to go in the mouth. When they go in the mouth, they go inside the rumen. And then they are not digested. They are like polyphen. So what will happen, the hairs will keep coming inside and at the end of it all, you find that the goat has gotten a ball, which is a foreign body, and an animal will start getting cachetic, doesn't get better, frequent diarrhea, so on and so on. If there is a very good technique of it, can definitely help you and know there is a foreign body, they open it and do operation, then they remove the hair balls and they get better. But how do you know that these animals are having what they call um, the fleas. Basically, look at these animals like the way you see. Whenever I see them scratching themselves like that, they are telling you that there is something they are trying to uh, look at. Something they are trying to scratch. That means the fleas are eating them. So how do we check to confirm that this is real fleas? Ivan, just open, get this. Huh. 
Okay. So now, look at this animal. This has not been actually scratching ah! itself, but um, let me handle this woman very well. Yeah. Now, uh, we were still demonstrating to you how to use this Bytco. Bytco has uh, the calibration here. It's what we use. This is what we use. So we always press and let the acaricide come here. So when you're giving it, you just drop. It's just a drop that goes. I think you can see. Then we drop another one here and here. So that acaricide will go underneath. So this one is going to go and cover up the whole skin. So that is how we apply this acaricide. It's called a power run. Um, it's expensive, but let's see how it works. And just in case it works, it's going to be a very beautiful uh, time. And it's going to be a very beautiful moment for all the farmers because some of the challenges that really disturbs us, these are the fleas. And you know, however much you spray it, you will not have to see these uh, fleas being dying. So these other caricides cannot kill this fleas. And um, this bitico, if it comes out and say, if you do a poor run, it's going to kill it. That will be a beautiful moment for all of us. So that is how we apply it. After identifying the fleas yourself, put it, put it, please put it on. If you turn like this, you can even do a sample. Uh, I think a cameraman can come and uh, get more closer because I want to show you hold it well like this. Um, because I want to show you, we want to drop uh, to the flea and we see whether it can probably uh, die. So here, I don't know whether the cameraman will see it, but I want to see whether it runs away. Um, yeah, probably these guys might be running. Might be running. I think you can see it can't even go underneath. It's now trying to find where it can run to. Basically, that might help. Let's see how the bicycle will work with the fleas, and it's going to give us a be very beautiful time going to give us a very beautiful moment let me just wish you the best that's what i really wanted to show you and i think uh, within two weeks or one week i'll have to show you another video and showing you and giving you the results before i recommend this bite call because it's a it's a good one so far depending on what i want uh so this quail are you guys uh dr Lugemwa, this, if it works well, then you're going to have a lot of dollars for us because we are accumulating animals. Just within a week, one flock is having over 120 something kids. And I'm not alone. We are really very, very many. So just wait for the recommendation and confirmation about the performance of this drug. Thank you so much. Let me just wish you the best and bye.